So let's take a look at problem three in unit three. Eric planted a seedling in his garden and recorded its height each week. The equation shown can be used to estimate the height h in inches of the seedling by the end of each week w after it was planted. So what does the slope of the graph represent? So right now we know that the slope is 3 fourths. And it says the height in inches. So this is the height, or this is the amount that it grows each week. So the slope is the height we can expect our ceiling to grow every week. So height in inches is ceiling after W weeks, and that's the one. The height in inches first planted it, that would be the y-intercept. The increase in the height in inches of the ceiling in each, each week. Well, oh crap, that is the answer. Why? Because the height in inches that's the overall height, right? So that, that's this h value. We, the slope is the increase that we get each week. So therefore, this is the answer. And then finally, the total increase in height in inches of the seedling. Uh, no, that would be the 3 fourths times the number of weeks. All right. Question B. The equation h is equal to 3 fourths w plus 9 fourths. Estimate the height of the ceiling to be seedling to be 8.25 inches after how many weeks? So this 8.25, that is going to be a height. So let's go ahead and rewrite the equation. And I'm going to be uh, using a mouse, so my handwriting is probably not going to be very good. So we have 8 and a quarter, 8 and a 1 quarter, 8 and a 1 quarter, 8 and a 1 quarter is equal to 3 quarters times w plus 9w. All right, so, <laughs> so it would be easier to deal with this problem if we had an improper fraction here. So 8 times 4 is 32 plus 1 is 33. So we know that, let's just erase this, shall we? Let's say this is 33 over 4. So we get 33 over 4. OK. And, oh, sorry, this should be a 4. My bad. All right, so let's go ahead and do our train tracks. What's the opposite of it? Adding 9? Subtracting. Uh, adding 9 fourths? We're going to subtract 9 fourths. All right, so nine fourths is going to end up being twenty twenty four fourths. And that is still going to equal three fourths W. So, what's the opposite of multiplying by 3 fourths? Dividing by 3 fourths. So when you divide, you end up multiplying, uh, when you divide it by a fraction, you end up multiplying by the reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply everything by 4 thirds. Well, 4 thirds times 3 fourths W is just W. 3 fourths times 24 fourths, well, 4 divided by 4 is 1. 3 goes into 24 8 times. So I just end up with w is equal to 8. And so at 8 weeks, we will see a height of 8.25.